Hey guys, what are we gonna talk about today? Well, you probably saw it in the thumbnail because I have started putting these in the thumbnails as opposed to just my beautiful mug. What are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about this. This is an Amazon exclusive CJRB Crag. So not to get into it any further. So if you're wearing on headphones, if you're wearing on headphones, I say that all the time. If you're watching on headphones, turn down the volume because here comes some music. CJRB Artisan, CJRB Crag, Amazon exclusive. And I knew this was coming out and I got one of these from Russell at Artisan. And this is, this is a knife that I've already done a review on. It's just a different variant, but I really like this one a lot. The first one I had was the CJRB Crag with the recoil lock. And it was, uh, I believe it was a uh, titanium and D2. I don't remember it. Was it titanium? I don't really remember. I wasn't such a fan of it because of the lock. Now this is a liner lock version of the same knife done in a different blade steel and it feels like it was ground significantly thinner. This is a very thin knife. So uh, just super attractive though. That's what, that's what caught my eye. So what we're gonna do is, we're not gonna stand here and talk about it too much. This might not be a real long video because we've already done a video about this knife. This is just a very different variant. So. Let's go ahead, and without any further ado, we're gonna flip this around. We're gonna meet on the Chris Reeves microfiber cloth and take a good close look at it. So I just wanna start, before we even do it, I just wanna give you a cursory glance at this. This is probably, let me turn this off. I think the light, natural light might be better. I think this is one of the most visually striking knives I've had come in in a while. So we'll take a good look at that momentarily, but first, let's go ahead and get some specs. So wrote my specs down here. Let me grab them. So what are we looking at? This is a CGRB Crag. Now CGRB, if you guys don't know, is the budget line for Artisan, but I don't even like to say that because some of their, you know, their knives just are, are basically all budget friendly. So this is, like I said, CRG, CJRB Crag in ARRPM9 steel. Uh, you're looking at a blade length of three 0.43 inches. Uh, blade thickness is 0.13. And you can see that it is a full flat ground black PVD coated blade. So you're looking at an overall length of 8.15 inches. It's not a huge knife, but it's also not small. It is kind of thick across the back compared to what I've been carrying lately. I've been carrying some, some really thin knives. But I will say that this full flat ground blade is ground super, super thin. This thing is incredibly slicey. Um, so uh, this is a cleaver style blade. The handles are a carbon fiber overlaid G10. I do know that on Amazon it does say carbon fiber, but the, it's it's and carbon fiber overlaid G10, which allows them to keep the cost down, but still gives you that same effect, and it doesn't affect the weight all that much. Um, weight on this is six ounces, is what they've got listed. But let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and bring that up and put this put it on a scale and see what the scale. We have our Nick Shabazz friendly scale here. So let's see here. In ounces, you are looking at, they said six ounces, and it is five and one eighths ounces according to my scale. Let's make sure I have it zeroed. It's actually a little bit lighter. It's a little bit lighter than what they have listed on Amazon. So in grams, you are looking at right at 146 grams. Not a heavy knife, not a light knife either. So like I said, let's go ahead. We'll move that out of the way and we'll take a good look at this thing. So this is a very, very attractive budget knife that, I mean, this thing looks like a race car. Uh, pocket clip, pocket clip is not my favorite style pocket clip. I'm usually not a fan of these pocket clips. However, it's not that bad. It's not, it would not be a game stopper for me. The tension on it is just about perfect. It works pretty well in 
track pants, jeans, shorts. I've carried it in a lot of stuff. Now, the big difference between this and the one that we saw on the channel previously, besides the aesthetics, I'm talking about the actual function of this knife. Uh, the previous one was a flipper, but it had the recoil lock. And I was not such a fan of it because the action on it was not as good as I would like. Um, for a flipper, things things like an access lock are not great for a flipper. The recoil lock was really similar to that because they have they don't have the detent power that you would you would expect in a flipper. So this is a liner lock. And as you can see, action on it is really good. I did take it apart and clean it up and so there's a little bit of extra oil. Um, but the aesthetics of this are what really get me. That Just that little bit of a change going to a black coated blade uh, it makes the logo look so much classier. The handles are well done. There's no hot spots. It's nice and smooth. They've chamfered everything really well. Um, the carbon fiber overlay on that G10 is is beautiful. It looks really good. And like I said, it just looks like a race car. Uh, lines on this knife, I liked the lines on this knife before. Um, before we did the uh, uh, the video when I had the recoil. Like I like the lines on the knife and it was a very good blade shape. But this is just even better. And one of the things about that recoil lock, well, the recoil lock was right here on the top, right where my thumb would sit. And there's nothing there now. There's nothing to, like if I shift my hand, I'm not gonna unlock the knife. I always felt with that recoil lock that when I would hold it, if I happened to drag back on it, because if I was doing heavy cutting, I could disengage the lock. Now it's a now it's a liner lock. And uh, I know a lot of people wanna see, let's see what the lockup is. People are like, how come you never show the lockup? Well, for me, like I early late lock up, I really don't think it's that big of a deal, especially in a budget knife like this. So it's a pocket clip. Pocket clip's not my favorite kind of pocket clip, but it is, it's really good. This knife I have to say was one of the sharpest knives I've had come out of the box in a very long time. The factory edge on this was super, super sharp. It's still the factory edge on this. So. Yeah, this isn't, like I said, it's not gonna be a long video. There's just a couple little differences between this and the other one, but this one is an Amazon exclusive. You can only get this on Amazon. So I, like I said, I do like the way that it looks classy. It just looks nice with that all black and then just that logo. So let's go ahead and we'll turn this around, do some final thoughts on this. So guys, as I was getting ready to close this out, I realized I hadn't done size comparisons. I'm not gonna change the tripod back around just so I can film that real quick. So we're gonna look, uh, Sabenza, really similar, very, very similar in size and length. Uh, this is actually, I think it fills my hand a little bit better than the Sabenza does. It's not any more comfortable, it just feels different in hand. Uh, so Sabenza, another really good comparison because I have them both. The Artisan Mastiff, uh, they're both really similar to both cleavers, uh, same company. The Mastiff is just a bigger knife overall. This would be, I would say this would be the comparison between this knife and the Sheepdog. The Sheepdog and this knife are very similar in size. So this is about, oh, I wanna say about in, maybe an inch shorter overall than this. Another comparison we use a lot, here we go. People that know the knives uh, know what the Benchmade 940 looks like, a little bit larger than the Benchmade 940 overall. And another knife that everyone knows, just to give you a bunch of comparisons, is the Spyderco Endura, which is definitely a very large knife. Uh, I forget how much bigger, uh, how, how big the uh, Endura actually is. So, yes, yeah, so there's your size comparisons. Just final thoughts on this, guys. This is a really, really good knife. Um, I really like it. I like it a lot better than I liked the recoil lock crag, which was a good knife. I did a giveaway for that. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this knife yet. So, uh, it's, <laughs> it's a nice little knife. Just don't know if I need any more knives in my collection. Uh, so just so you know, there's not going to be a size comparison on this because there's only one place you can get this specific version of this knife. And that is Amazon. So this is $49.99. It's a $50 knife on, Am on Amazon. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the bells and whistles on this would put it, I expected it to be more. When I saw pictures of it, um, I expected it to cost more. There's something to be said about just a splash of color on an all black, on an all black knife, just a couple of spots of color. The logo, the standoffs, and then the red pivot collars. Those red pivot collars really do it for me. I saw the red pivot collars on the uh, Mayalia, and I was like, that's a good looking knife. I, that's something I would like to see them do on more 
knives. Uh, it just, it gives it a classy look. So, and red, red and black are some of my favorite colors. Anyway, a lot of times they don't work on knives, but there are some knives that it just really, really pops on. So, yeah, this thing, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like I said, in when we were looking at it top down, this thing is so thin, it's as thin as my sea snake, if not thinner. Uh, and it just slices, slices like a champ. So, and a lot of people ask about the ARPM9, and they're like, it's untested, and there's been questions about it. People have said things about it on the internet. I have not found any issues with this. I don't want to go out and say that like Outpost 76 does not know what he's doing when it comes to sharpening. I'm just gonna say the issues that some people have said they've had with this steel, which I've only ever heard one person actually say it, and then a bunch of people kind of bandwagoned it. Um, I have not had those issues in this steel. Uh, not trying to not trying to play it up that they may not have had issues. I'm just saying I have yet to experience it, and I have had ooh, probably 15 of the sea snakes come through the house that other people have sharpened that have been out for reviewers, knives that I sharpened before they went out to reviewers because they had been out for review and maybe got used and dull. So just all in all, I have not experienced it with that steel. So just keep that in mind. Your, your experience may vary. So guys, trying to get some content up. Uh, be patient. I am doing the stuff for the DVBE. Uh, I actually did the work and I'm getting paid for it next week. Uh, we're, we probably are going to go look at some properties today. It's just hectic. So if videos don't go up, please be forgiving. I did notice that we've lost a couple people on the memberships. Uh, that kind of does suck, but you know, I understand it. These times, times kind of suck right now if you're trying to, uh, to, to pay for things. So I appreciate everybody that does all that. Thank you to all the members. Uh, I've got some money saved up that I'm going to try and do something special for the channel with, uh, that I've saved up for the channel from, from the, from the members. So, uh, guys, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but try to tell me why. If you really like the channel, you can give me a membership. And if you like the video in particular, there's also an applause button where you can donate directly to the channel on specific videos just because you liked them. So that's pretty much it, guys. I know this is probably kind of a helter-skelter video uh, because I'm kind of lots of caffeine trying to get so many things done. It's hard to keep a clear train of thought when there's so many things going on, but I will try to keep the videos up. Guys, I love you all. Have a safe weekend. If you're watching this on a weekend, it's the weekend for me. So you guys take it easy and I'll see you in the next video, which is probably just in a few minutes.